I win! I win! Okay, Horace, now it's you versus me. Who can watch TV closest and not blink? I'm gonna win this one! Dude, not everything's about winning. I'm gonna go outside and play something fun and healthy. Look at that loser! Loser! Soccer stinks! Our TV game was so much healthier! And more fun! Wait, whoa! That was cool! Uh, I, I mean, not cool! Yeah! Uh, oh, I mean, I mean, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah! His outfit is so stylish! Oh. Stinky! Right, right, stinky, stinky! I mean, it's pretty stinky, but... I might get a soccer uniform just like that and wear it every day, but just as a joke. If you did that joke, would you play soccer with me? Um, no. Right, because soccer stinks. Oh, wow. Horse, 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 horse. We love soccer now. We, we want to play. play. We, we want to play. play. I tell you guys every year, join the soccer league. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. No, really, you should join it. Registration closes in like an hour. First day of practices. You guys get on good teams? I'm on the Zoot Eam. Zoot Eam? Yeah, I can't wait to meet all my new teammates and then make other teams cry because we beat them. Winning's not everything. Horace, I think I actually got on a cool team, so I can't be seen with losers who have cereal stuck in their teeth from breakfast like you. Uh, oh, thanks. See? Telling me it was good sportsmanship. No, it wasn't. Bye! Okay, I'm on the Vicious Strikers. Wait, what? This isn't a cool team. It's a girl team! Yeah, this year mostly girls signed up. Except for one boy, Roba. That must be you. Come on, we're warming up. Oh, no. I can't do this. I mean, I got a lot of identity issues as it is. Look, I dress like a robot. Wait, those are our uniforms? Me and turquoise? And hot gray? I am on a cool team! Yeah, aren't they cool? Coach, meet the newest vicious striker! Me! Okay, zoot, eem, zoot, eem. Oh! Zoot team! Hey, are you out, Faye? Yeah? You cool playing with a deadly lion? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is gonna work. We're gonna make a lot of teams cry. Welcome to another season of Farborough League Soccer. I'm joined by our soccer expert, Tux Dog. Tux, this will be an exciting season, will it not? Yes, I think you're right. The Warriors take the field and, ooh, immediately go down by a point. Tux Dog, answer me this. You're a dog. Where do you go to the bathroom? Hmm? Does someone walk you? Actually, no. No, I... Tell you what, if I was a dog, I'd go on the rug. I'd wipe on it, too, if you know what I mean. And look at that! The Warriors lose their first game. The rain has made the field very muddy today, but these girls are one of the toughest teams. Time out! I lost my shoe! Now my outfit doesn't look cool! Despite Robo losing his shoe 13 times, the Vicious Strikers win! I love the zoo team. I think they're going to go all the way to the championship. They will if Alfei makes this penalty shot. Alfei places the ball just how he likes it. Tux, I brought you a bone to eat because you're a dog. Hmm. Thank you. Are you gonna, like, lick it or crunch it? I mean, how do dogs really eat a bone? Oh! Alfe takes the shot and... Goal! The zoo team will go to the finals! Now it's come down to the Warriors versus the Vicious Strikers to see who will face the zoo team in the championship! Oh, we're seeing some excellent passing. Tux, as a dog, would you say your main motive in life is to eat a whole cat just in one chomp? Yes! Fascinating. And we watch as Horace attempts one final shot on the goal. Oh! It's wide! The referee blew the final whistle. That's it. Game over! The Vicious Strikers win! Join us next week for the championship, the Zoo Team versus the Vicious Strikers! Soccer! 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 Yeah, soccer. Oh, wait. 
Are you sad because your season's over? No. Me and my team had outstanding sportsmanship this year, and that's all that matters. Yeah, but it must stink not being in the final game. Winning's not everything. You know, Horace, I finally get that saying. For you, winning isn't everything. Winning is nothing. Because you're nothing, and you're not important now. Hey. No, 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 Alpha, hey. He made Horace cry a little. Oh, I am so sorry. I forgot your team lost and came in third place. So, Roba, you and me, let's not remind him of that, okay? Okay. Let's just very quietly have a party! Yeah! Yeah! Winning party, winning party! Wow, look how much fun Roba and Alpha are having. Even though their teams are playing each other next week and they should be practicing, they're so happy because they won. Maybe I was wrong about winning. Maybe I was wrong about everything. Maybe I should get a normal haircut in an office chair. Go work in a cubicle. I'll probably have to try coffee, but I'll add lots of milk to it because coffee tastes yucky. Ah, problem solved. Hello? Oh, oh really? Thank you, thank you. Okay, bye. Hey, hey, who was that? Losers Illustrated? They want you to be in the swimsuit issue of the Losers issue? No, it was the league. They just informed me, due to my outstanding sportsmanship, they've made me head referee of your final game. So you will be in the final game. And you will be very important. You will basically decide who wins the game. That's right. I'm the key to winning, guys. Let me rub your back! I'll give you money! I'll rub your back, man! Let me give you money! Let How me rub your back! Want? Winning is nice. everything to me! Guys, yet again, you're missing the point. This game will be decided on the field. Because soccer is about sportsmanship, and I've always said winning isn't everything, and look! I'm the referee now, so I'm right, and you're wrong! Oh, and coffee is yucky, no matter how much milk you put in it! Welcome, everyone, to the Farborough Soccer League Championships. I'm joined by none other than our Tux dog. Now, Tux, sit, stay, stay. Now, roll over. Give me your paw. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. He's shaking my hand. Oop, the players are taking the field. Our referee today will be Horace. Let's have a clean, fair game, everybody. And there's the whistle. Alfe dribbles the ball forward and... The vicious strikers takes him down. Oh, he looks really hurt. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, uh. Alfe, Alfe, stay there. I'll get a stretcher. This is a very unfortunate turn of luck for the zoo team. No, wait. I have to play for my team, for the game, because it's about playing, not winning. Wow, man. That's some great sportsmanship. What's this? Annie has gone over and she's shaking hands with Alfe. Alfe is getting up. Oh, oh, it looks like he's going back into the game. That's the spirit. Wow. The referee sets up the ball for the free kick. Guys, guys, I got this one. It's for the team. It's for the game. Alfe lines up and... Alfe! Oh, he'll probably get a yellow card for that. Soccer fight! Tux Dog, you're a dog. Have you ever seen... That's it? right, I'm a dog. We get it rough, rough, okay? But the one thing I would like to point out is that you, sir, are a lizard. He's right. <laughs> this game is a double forfeit. Both teams are disqualified for poor sportsmanship. Which means that the championship automatically goes to the third place team, the Warriors. Winning party, winning party, winning. That this is textbook wicked air. Yep, it's wicked not fair, Horace. It's wicked not fair. Yeah, you guys are actually totally right. There's only one way to crown the season's true champion, 
And I think we all know what it is. Is it finding that little girl that Alfie kicked? Because she are. And I think she's in the other town or something. Roba, then that's a job for that town's problem solvers. What I'm going to need you to do is get your game face on. Okay, that was a tie. That was a tie. Roba, Roba, you and me. Roba, Roba. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, Let's do this. Yeah, I'm tired. I can't even see it. Hurts to look. Okay, Alfie, you and me. Put it on the commercial channel. Put it on the commercial channel. Make it extra bright. Let's do this. Ah! Well, Mr. Lizard, wouldn't you say this is quite an unexpected left turn for our season? It is, but I think Horace's eyes are clearly the favorite in this game. As a lizard, are you part dinosaur? Because you look like... Dinosaur. -y. Yeah, I kind of am part dinosaur. Hey, Mr. Basil. Feeling a little brown? Looks like you could use some water. This is parsley. Looking lovely. I love my herb garden. It's gonna hurt to eat you all. Happy birthday, Roba! It's your birthday, and so I sing you this birthday song. Oh, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. My birthday was three months ago. Yeah, I was busy or something, but ready for the coolest gift anyone's ever got you? Ta-da! I made a giant rubber sculpture. Wait, what? That's supposed to be me? You think that's what I look like? Well, you don't look as good as this masterpiece, but it does represent you, so happy birthday. I love you. <laughs> masterpiece. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, wait, look out. Ah, you destroyed my herb garden, which was my one birthday present from Horace. Sorry, I, I thought it would be awesome if awesome I... Awesome would have been if you had gotten me something nice and not made me an ugly mud sculpture. Get out of my face, Alfie. You and your awesome selfishness have done enough damage for one day. Fine. I'll get out of your face. Actually, I'll get out of here completely. I'll hit the streets. Find people who appreciate my awesomeness. Yeah, that's right. You heard right. Alfie's running away. Bye, Roba. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Alfie, are you saying something? I can't hear you, cause I got your mud stuck in my ears. I'm running away. I'm running away. I'm running away. I'm running away. What the? Roba, what happened to your garden? Alfie destroyed it. Calm down. Calm down. I think I see him out there. I'll go talk to him. Hey, Alfe. Alfe, it's nice that you're trying to dig out Roba's herbs from under that mud, but you know, what happened was really bad. I mean, you gotta think of other people, Alfe. That's right. Totally. You totally get what I'm saying. Like that pizza oven over there you've started without my permission. You gotta think about other people's needs too. You got it? Yeah, yes. Yes, exactly. Thank you, man. Dinner will be ready in 20 minutes. I'll come out and get you. Hey, Mr. Dog, have you heard the word? Alfie's run away, and I'm gonna do some cool stuff. Run away. Um, I'm sorry, could you please not sing to my dog, please? Uh, dogs love music. Well, mine doesn't. That's impossible. Wait, you know what? Thank you. I just realized what I was doing wrong my whole life. And that is living with humans. I'm gonna go back to my animal roots. See ya. It's the Possum Solvers! Possum Solvers is taken for a live studio audience in Burbank, California. Hey everybody, I live with possums now! Um, horse possum. Can we like move to a normal human house with like a TV? No. <laughs> Hate you. I'm gonna put you in a trap later. Gorilla Possum, are you done cooking our dinner pizza? Yes. What? This isn't pizza. 
It's just a pile of acorns and trash and wood chips. Cut, cut. Hey, I assumed that we'd have real pizza. I can't work under these conditions. I'm running away. Hey, have you seen Alfie? I want to see if he wants this t-shirt. Still really mad at him, but this would be the perfect t-shirt for him to wear. Yeah, I think he's in the bathroom. Actually, he's been in there for like an hour. Hey, hey, Alfie, you okay? Hey, Alfie, what's the matter? Are you going to the bathroom? <laughs> Gross. Going to the bathroom's embarrassing. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Look, we're not trying to make fun of you. It's been a rough day for everybody. Maybe you are going to the bathroom. Maybe you need more toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, we'll be in the kitchen. Let's hang out later, okay? Mm. Ugh, I thought living with animals would be awesome, but it wasn't. So my search continues. Maybe it's time I searched inward. Because maybe I am insensitive. Hmm. Maybe if I stop acting bad, something good will come into my mommy, life. Mommy, mommy! Mommy, mommy, look at this adorable cute teddy bear. Let's take him home to our mansion and we'll treat him like a king. Hey, inner thoughts, you were way off. Just be careful. No, this is awesome. Come on, let's go. Would you like some more tea? Um, can I get back into the tea party? No, Meredith, you were bad. You killed three of our guests, Meredith. It's Alfie, not Meredith. Quiet, Meredith. Oh, you know what? You little girls are all like. First, you make me hang out with your annoying friends. Ugh, Amy was nice. <gasps> really? Because she talked too much. That's it. I'm running away. Bye. Hi, I'm uh, friends with your daughter. Do you have any pizza? Because I have to go and I'm hungry. I'm calling the police. The pizza police? Or the regular police? Regular. Fair enough. Bye-bye. <laughs> Stay at home Robo likes to stay at home The outside world, it scares me I don't like to leave Oh, hey, Horace Alfie made a big mess in the bathroom There's like fish heads, empty beehives mm -hmm. I think he's acting out again You should maybe go have a talk with him uh, Where is he? He's in his bedroom Hey, Alfie, are you awake? Oh, good. Yeah, look. I know we've accused you of acting bad lately. And now the bathroom's a total mess. So I just wanted to say that I think when you act bad, it's awesome. It's so cool. Because secretly, I wish I could be bad. I mean, okay, I've never told this to anybody. But remember last year? The problem with the missing diamonds? Well, that was me. Uh, I just wanted to see what it would feel like to act bad. And, uh... Oh, those diamonds smelled so good, but, but bad. And then I felt really bad, so I returned the diamonds. <laughs> oh. oh, it feels so good to tell this to someone, man. So look, I like how you act bad, but you gotta know when to act bad. So how about tomorrow night, me and you go slimeball some cows. All right, dude? Ah, oh, I've never felt so close to you, man. Awesome. Awesome, man. See you later. Well, I've searched everywhere. It's like what I really need is a mixture of like a human and awesome animal to hang out with. Yo, man, you look lost. Are you okay? Please go away. I don't talk to strangers. Alfie, is that you? It's me, Alfred, your awesome half human, half animal dude friend. Huh? Dude, awesome. Hey, hey, why don't we ever hang out? Because you don't know how to use a phone, man. Hey, is that your awesome van? Yeah, man. Want to go for a ride? So, I quit my job, dedicated my life to awesomeness, and now I just drive around in this van. Oh, that's the pizza oven. Hope you're hungry for pizza. Can I stay with you forever? All right, here it is. Wait, uh, what are those toppings? Oh, it's rat. I mean, I quit my job and live in a van, man. I can't afford real pepperoni. Okay, rat pizza. I'll just give it a try. Oh. 
<laughs> hey, man! You puked in my van's herb garden! But it was rat! Oh, that's so unawesome, man! But, but I... I'm out of here, man! <laughs> Learn to appreciate the taste of rat! Guess I'm not awesome enough to hang out with anybody awesome, or know anybody awesome, or do anything awesome. It's official. My life is not meant to be awesome. So I better go back to the least awesome place on Earth. Alfie, you came outside. Look how awesome this is. Wait, what? The mud from your sculpture. It acted as a fertilizer, which made my herb garden grow amazing. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, and that mud you used was high quality. Good job, man. I used it to make clay bricks to finish our clay brick pizza oven. Hope you're hungry for an extra large pepperoni pizza. That's some fresh basil from my garden. Guys, this is awesome. <laughs> Excited for our plans tonight? What are you talking about? You know, Alfie, I have to say, this last couple of days, I feel like you and me have had a huge breakthrough. I love you, man. Slime cow. Wink. Guys, what are you talking about? I've been gone for the last three days, living with possums. Don't you watch TV? Whoa, wait. If you've been gone for three days, then who destroyed the bathroom? Yeah, who was snuggling with me in the TV room last night? Who helped me with my homework? Who's been leaving fish and beehives in the sink to be cleaned? Who did I go skinny dipping with at the lake? Who did I just lend a hundred dollars to? Good friends, thanks a lot. What do we do? Figure it out yourselves. I'm running away. <laughs> <laughs>